Hi, welcome to the another video of UI Paths RPO Automation. In this video, we are going to understand like how to in how to use UI Path Invoke activities. So we use UI Path Invoke activities whenever we have to use multiple UI Path workflows file or when we have to pass the data from one UI Path workflow to another UI Path workflow. That time we use UI Path Invoke workflow activity. And then we pass the required information using the arguments. So here on in this video today, we are going to see how to use arguments to pass the data from one workflow to the another workflow. Before I go ahead, I would like to request you to hit a like button and subscribe to my channel for UiPath projects and other UiPath important topics. So let's get started. I have already created a folder and this is my project folder. Now I will show you the data which I am going to use for explanation. So I have these two columns. One is DOB, another one is name. And I have already filled these values. For example, now I will go to main workflow. And this main workflow is similar to the main function in our programming languages. So what we will do is first of all we will read this excel file. If you have excel installed you can use UiPath excel activities. I have, I don't have so I am using this read range. Workbook read range. I have to give the path of the file. So we have the file in the same folder. If you don't have your file available in the same folder, you have to give complete path. Or in, a, in your project, it might come through a asset also. And when we have to read the entire data sheet, then we have to delete this range. Let's go here. And then we have to read this in a data table. Read this sheet in a data table. Control K UI path shortcut to create variables and then one variable DT DT test data table test. Alright now what we will do is once we have this data table we have to loop through each row. UI path have for each row in data table activity. So this UI path activity will give you the current row as the item and then you have to pass your collection. The collection should be the data table itself. DT test. Now we have two information. Take one UI path assign activity. Control K to create the variable. You can take the variable as name and you can assign the column value from current row. So, in current row, you just have to open this and give the column name. That's it. Column name is name. More thing we have to do. This is object, so we have to convert to string. Now, we have to create another variable which is control K. We have to do. Okay, and whenever you are creating a variable using default method that control K, it will always create a string type of variable. So if you have to use different kind of data in UI path, then you have to convert that variable. So I will change the variable type to system, system dot date time. So 
system load date time okay now what i have to do whenever we are trying to read the data that data come as the object from data table in this we have converted to string if you remember and here we are converting to we have to convert into date type because the variable is of type date and time so what we have to do run convert dot to so we need date time and then we can pass the value what is the value value is current row and so we are getting the value from row right so here is dob so dob column value for the ongoing row okay i think that's it now for testing let's uh, print these values inside the loop itself this is the loop inside the loop only we should be printing so take one ui path log message and name plus sign one space plus sign do b as this is date time so we have to convert to string when we are printing it let's run this workflow file so if you will debug it will run all the related file as of now we don't have any related file so we can just run this particular workflow file and check it so let's go to output you see it has printed all the values from this excel okay now next is that what we will do is we will create one another workflow which will calculate the age of each person and it will display or it will populate in a message box or you can print on output panel also so what we will do is we will add one more we will add one more workflow file so from new add new workflow file this is the workflow it will automatically take the project name and then you can change this name you can keep any name i am keeping it calculation create you will see this workflow file is here but this new workflow file is here now what we have to do that we have to take the value of date from there and then we have to calculate the age of the person and then after we have to print the message that hey john your age is this and your date of birth is this so age value we don't have here date of birth we don't have here we are just trying to calculate and print so here we will get two values through arguments first one is the name and the second one is date of birth so let's create two variable first later stage we will convert those variables in the argument so whenever you are creating those variable in ui path which you have to convert later on into argument you should start with in or out if that is the input argument then it should have in if that is uh, output argument then you can use uh, out before the name of the argument i am repeating it again whenever you are using ui path argument it is a best it is one of the best practice to give clear identifier that this is a argument so i am using in name and here i am using in pob So DOB is from there is type of date and time. So the argument type in UI path or any other language should be same as the variable type. Okay. 
okay so now the first thing is like we need years how many years let's create one variable sign so as of now i have not converted these two in argument these are the variable itself so control k i will create years count how many years so years count will auto, always come in int because that will be a number so how how will we get it what we can do is today dot year minus indob so the type of this particular argument or the variable should be date type date and time then only you can have the years All right. So years count, you understood how how will you calculate year count? Today dot year minus date of birth or whatever is the date value that year. Okay, now I will get months count. You can try any other way also. I am just uh, trying this way for uh, easy example so that you can understand properly. Control K count months count. Today dot month minus in dob dot month so whatever value is coming that month okay why it is giving error because this is whenever you create by default variable that will be a string and then you have to convert that to your required data type all right so we have these two variables now we want to just so whenever we have big projects we don't run entire workflow again and again because it can take long time or just to do the partial testing what we can do is we can just pass the value here date time value so convert dot to date time to zero one two okay now let's so you understood that i have given the value of I N D O B. So and today value system will already pick up. So now it should be able to print some data. So this is just the testing of the workflow. Now after this we will do the. We will pass the data from main to calculation workflow in some time. Before that, let's test this. So this time let's use right line activity, UI path. Years count plus space plus months count. Both should be in as we are printing the value, so it should be in a string. To a string. Let's run only the file, not entire project. So you can have, you can see here, ten year one month. Let me show you the date once again. This is the date. June second, two zero one two. So I think the workflow is giving the correct output. Now, what we have to do is we have to type a proper message. Or let's use a message box here. Let's type hi plus in name, and then we can give years count, and then we can write here. Yes, and then we can give here months count, and then we can. So this count is uh, integer. We have to convert into a string when we are concatenating with a string, or we are trying to print 
let me show you the entire message for better understanding then year count based on the calculation which we have done in this workflow in a argument okay so what we can do is we can convert these two things in argument because we will be getting the value from another workflow convert to argument So how did I do that? Let me show you once again. If you want to convert any argument to variable, you just have to select, right click, convert to variable. Same way, if you want to convert any variable to argument, you have to select, right click and convert to argument. Very easy option. So now I am here. We have to delete this now. Now we will invoke this calculation workflow in main workflow. Let me go. So that once we have name from the data table, once we have date of birth from the data table, just after that we have to use one invoke workflow activity. So whatever is happening there that will happen from then you can click here and you can select your file or you can pass the path directly. Now you click on import argument. So you can see this is taking two values. And you are passing those values in which variable here. One is name. Another one is dov. Just click OK and save. Alright, so whatever calculation and anything we have done there, that will use these values and this will pass these values to that argument and that argument and that workflow will be called again and again. I hope this is clear to you. If any question, you can uh, mention in the comments. Uh, let me just debug this file. You have high John, your age is 23 three months and your date of birth is this. Okay, now let's check in the file. So did you notice that the message was typed or age was calculated in the different workflow and Excel was being read in a different workflow. So there is the date of birth. If you can see the format is changed. And then it has calculated the 23 years and 3 months. So you, you can check here, the age is correct. You can have a look on the dates, everything will come now next. So the moment you will click on OK, it will go to next. Your age is 26 years and name is Amit. So you see, Data is being passed from here and calculation is happening into the another workflow and workflow is running fine. Hope this video was uh, useful for you. Please, uh, please give your comments. That will be very helpful for my channel. Share the link of my channel to your friends and don't forget to hit the like button. Have a good day ahead. Happy learnings.